Welcome to Casey's SEO. Today, we're gonna to be going over the four strategies pros use in order to get faster results. These four strategies are on-page SEO, off-page SEO, technical SEO, and local SEO. I will now be heading over to the computer and show you guys exactly a step-by-step -step process of how you can get started with these four strategies. So first, we're gonna be looking at technical SEO and how to run a website audit. Second, we're gonna be looking at on-page SEO and a couple of the key components of the things that you need to optimize on your website. Then we'll be looking at off-page SEO, which is essentially building backlinks and showing uh, Google or the search engines that you have authority in a certain niche. And last, we'll be looking at local SEO and a couple of the steps that you guys need to do in order to rank higher in your location. So if you're ready, let's go. The first strategy we're gonna be focused on is a technical SEO audit. I highly suggest you guys start with an audit in order to know where to start and what things need to be fixed on your website. So we're gonna be looking at two different programs. Both of these programs have a free version. The first one is from uh, SEO Power Suite and it is the website auditor. So all you have to do is click on the button, enter your email information, and you can download the software and start to use it. But for today's tutorial, we're gonna be using uh, Screaming Frog. They have a free version and a paid version, but all you have to do is go ahead and download the free version and it will look uh, something like this. So I just ran ahead, went ahead and audited a website. And as you can see, it pulls up all the links that is on the website. Now you can go over here to the overview tab. There's a site structure tab and a couple other tabs that you might be interested in. For our purposes, we're gonna be looking at the summary on the overview section. And we're gonna just scroll down and see if anything pops out with any issues. Now, if you see anything from here, we have like uh, page titles. We have 39 page titles. Um, we are missing zero. There's zero duplicates. Um, there's 37 titles that are over 60 characters, which may mean your title is getting cut off uh, when you hover over the title on Google or when you are looking through the SERPs. And I'll show you what, guys what I mean here in a moment. But you can just go through and then uh, there's the meta description section. We have H1s, H2s, um, content. We can look for duplicates or exact duplicates. We have uh, page content, if, it, if it's not enough page content. So there's a lot of different information in here that you guys can look at and you can find broken links etc and then just go and work on all of these issues and then create a strategy so you can move on to the next process which would be on page seo next we're going to go ahead and look at on page seo so one of the first things you guys are going to want to do is update your title tags now your title tags are going to include um, your keywords so for example on caseysseo.com if we scroll to the top of the page here, you can see what my title is for the page. We have local SEO, leads, PPC advertising, web design, Colorado Springs. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you wanna keep these titles around 60 characters. So if we go to Google over here, you can see the optimal title length is anywhere between 50 and 60 characters. And the reason being is we don't want a title to show dot 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 after that just means the title is too long and the viewer is not going to be able to read what the whole title is about one of the next steps you guys are going to be looking at is your meta description and one way you can easily find a meta description from somebody's website is you can right click on the screen hit view page source and then that will bring you to the page source for the website. 
Now, if you're working with WordPress, it's really easy to find. It's going to be on top of it's going to be on top of the page, and you will see um, meta property. We have description, and then it's going to say content equals, and then you're going to have your description if it has one. Um, and right above it should be the title. If you cannot find a title description, you can go ahead and hit Control F, and then you can type in whatever keyword you're looking for, and then that will go and scroll through the page and show and highlight any keyword that you typed in up top. So another example of some on-page SEO is schema. Now you can check if the web page has schema a couple of different ways. You can view in the page source, type in schema, and then that will direct you to the schema if the page has it, or you can use a schema checker which makes it a lot easier than you can tell if there's any errors with the schema and it just really simplifies the process. The third strategy is off-page SEO. Now for off-page SEO, you're generally building backlinks to your website. Now you can do this in multiple different ways. First, you could use Bright Local. Now, if you're a local business, I highly suggest you use a service like Bright Local or you just look at what backlinks that they are creating and you can go ahead and submit them yourself if you have the additional time. So what backlinks are going to be doing is building more authority to your website. And in return, if you have proper on-site SEO or proper local SEO, hopefully those rankings will increase over time. Now, a couple other ways you guys can build backlinks is you can create a podcast, you can create YouTube videos, or you can use web 2.0s such as medium.com. So if you want to create a website, one good service to use is Podbean. Now with Podbean, you will be able to create podcasts. You can even put in blogs and you can add links to your descriptions, which will count as a backlink. Now let's move into the fourth strategy, which is local SEO. So your main pro profile that you guys are going to be looking at to increase your local searches is your Google business profile page. So if you do not have a Google business profile page created yet, go ahead, create a Gmail account, and then add your business to the business profile page manager. From here, you're going to want to add all the info that you possibly can about your service. And that's going to include your hours, your website, uh, what services you include, your phone number. Then you will want to come to the services tab and add in more information about each service that you guys offer. Next, if you guys offer any products, click on the products tab, and then you can add in different products that your business offers. And then you can put prices if you would like. And then you could also put a button linking back to your website for more information. I also highly suggest that you guys add plenty of images to your profile page. So these are just honestly some random images that follow my theme for my website, but I also have these images geolocated and they are quite optimized to help Google understand the services or products that I offer because I added those keywords into the alt text of each image. And then I added the geographical location to each image. So Google knows where my business is located. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Those are the four strategies that you guys need to master in order to get more traffic and better rankings to your website. If you guys have any questions or need help with a website audit, your on-page SEO, off-page SEO, or your local SEO, please either send me an email or leave me a comment below. I would love to hook up with you guys and try to help you out to the best of my ability to get you guys some more traffic and more rankings. And if you guys need more SEO tips, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will be coming out with new videos weekly so I can help you guys get better rankings and more traffic.